All right, I'm Kenton Dick, uh, and and we're joined very special guests. I've got uh, Magic Jordan here. Now you guys are separate. Where where are you guys joining me from? Toronto, LA. <laughs> You're from Steinbeck. <laughs> And also, you know, I'm from originally from Bahrain, which is also a place not many people are familiar with, but now more and more people because it's, it's kind of getting on the map in a good way. So, you know, Steinbeck, Bahrain, connect. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, right. And Bahrain, the only reason that I know about Bahrain is because I happen to be a Formula One fan. Okay, yeah, there is a race over there. Yeah, yeah. there's a race over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I am going to get to that a little bit, your Bahraini pass, because I think that's very interesting. Before we get there, though, uh, I, I, I just have to start by asking Majid Jordan, do people ever think that, that you're just one guy and then are surprised when you're a duo not named Majid Jordan? Yes, for sure. Yeah. This, this, is where, this is where we're starting to change it. And everyone <laughs> in Manitoba is going to know. That's right. Yeah. Well, we'll help you out with that one. Majid Jordan, two different people. And uh, Majid, last name, Al Mascotti. Is that decent That's pronunciation? Right. Yeah. Right on. And uh, Jordan yeah. Alden, um, Waves of Blue, before we get to Summer Rain, which I'm excited about because uh, I've been really enjoying it over the last little bit here. But Waves of Blue, what's that success been like for you guys? Incredible. It's the, it's the first time uh, we've seen so much movement with a song and our solo career uh, together, you know, making like our own project, our music. So uh, it's, it's amazing to see how it's performing in Canada yeah. and around the world. It's playing everywhere and people are loving it. That's, you know, that's all you hope for when you make a song is that it connects with as many people as possible. Yeah. Yeah, it's been, it's been fun to play. And, and I, I've been, obviously we've been playing it here for a little while now, getting into it, grooving to it. Then I heard about Summer Rain and I, I, I just took a listen. I watched the music video when it came out a couple of days ago. Hands down, my favorite of your songs. Oh wow! Amazing. Like, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Thank you friend. so much. Oh wow! wow. I'm so glad. Thank you for your support. Yeah. Tell, tell me about it and the styling behind it, because it's so '80s and it's so fun yeah. and groovy. Tell me, tell me how this one came to be. Yeah, th this one was was honestly one of those ideas in the studio that kind of the energy just keeps building and building and building, and you almost you leave the studio with like a really solid idea of of uh, of, of what you think the record is going to sound like. So, um, with, with that one, I think it, it came after Waves of Blue, and and you know I think Maj was just was speaking about um, you know being in, in, in Bahrain, like looking out into the ocean and in the sea and, and just seeing um, the waves and, and almost imagining like what love would be um, and, and just kind of that feeling. So, so when we put that song together, we wanted to keep it going and, and wanted to make something a little more upbeat and, and more in, in the lane of like an eighties inspired record. So, you know, we were listening to like a lot of David Bowie, uh, talking heads, talk, talk, um at the time and and just wanted to make something that that had that that change in the chorus that feels like the rain's really falling over you and and, and that moment of impact when 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 you're lost in it all and 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 somebody or something comes along your way and, and really takes that alleviates your stress um so yeah, that, that record is very special to us, man. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that's your, your favorite. Well, and it's just, I mean, you're listening. It's great to crank in the car because it's just groove, you know? So I feel like I can actually pull the tune groovy out of the, you know, the- I love that. You know, man, every time I, I love going to bowling alleys and, and, <laughs> and manifesting that our song, one of our songs is going to be played in a bowling alley like 20 years down the road. So I hear that song like through like an old- radio boom box like in like the mechanics garage you know like so I, I i think it has that like special feeling and and i think it's just like it's still happy but it still has this meaning to it that that is relatable yeah, you know I, love that bowling alley. I can definitely picture it yeah. you know the full bowling shirt and the sun <laughs> the moon walking on the on the fresh linoleum yeah, yeah. that's the yeah. video right there that's the video yeah it's like big lebowski <laughs> Exactly, Big Lebowski. Yeah. Uh, so I, 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 just continuing on this, are, 
you know, future music, can we kind of expect this same kind of trend, this theme? I mean, for us, we, yeah. we like to experiment, you know, so uh, if we could continue on a trend. We could do something else. You know, we, we, we love to envision our, when we go to places, we love to envision how, you know, our music would sound in these different environments because now people have devices and music can reach them anywhere. It's not necessarily tied to just the car or, you know, the kitchen radio or, where, where people are traditionally have been reached for a long period of time. So now it's like, what would it sound like if you're on the beach and it's New Year's and there's, you know, mountains behind you and the sun, the sun just went down? Or what would happen if you're like in the desert, which is like kind of like what summer rain is. We had this idea that, you know, you, you, you look like you're in the desert and you zoom out and you're actually like on someone's body. You know what I mean? And it's just like all this like surrealist uh, kind of uh, uh, vision uh, visions ha occurring during this the, during the making of this album so hmm. I, I we just like to experiment you know that's that's like, really what comes an out interesting way to think about me almost like almost like you're making like a like a soundtrack for a movie or something like visualizing an area and creating the sound for that mm -hmm. yeah yeah exactly yeah, yeah. super uh, creatively fulfilling for us to do it that way because it's kind of like imagining right and, and using your imagination to visualize and I, that, I think I, I try to work on that. And I know Jordan does as much as possible because a lot of the times we're being bombarded, you know, it's like, this is what this looks like. And this is an image and this is a movie and this is a picture where it's like, okay, remove all these things and paint it from nothing and create that canvas. The music video, you're, you're boxing in the music video, which was great to see. Uh, are you going to get in on any of these like celebrity boxing matches? Like, are, are we going to get you up against one of the yeah, I'm, his, I'm his agent yeah. who's telling him he's got to go down <laughs> to the third. I'm, I'm, I'm like, you got to go down yeah. to the third, kid. We got a lot of money on Jake Paul, all right? <laughs> exactly. Hey, I, Conor McGregor's taking fights with anybody these days. You know what? I, 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 it, will, it will never be a Majid versus Jordan, but it might be a Jordan versus whoever's whoever's in the i don't know i would never do that but. <laughs> i'm just the worst i'm the I'm, most fraudulent agent ever honestly i'm, I'm extorting yeah. this poor kid you know he's like his only dreams to get in the ring and i'm, I'm gonna break it to him the day before he's got to go down at the third. I, I i think i think it was just like really funny because like when i put the boxing gloves on and i was like on set um matt that we were we were uh we've been working with he he directed the video matthew siskin yeah. and <clears throat> he's like damn you actually like you could look you look like a ufc fighter you know like i had like the beard and like my hair and like i was like shirtless and it was it was so funny so i just like got like as much into it as possible we put the chalk on the hands and i was like for a moment i felt tough <laughs> as if mine was like lebron james you know like in the final. yeah exactly <laughs> The chalk's going. You know? <laughs> not a bad boost to the yeah. ego being told you look like a UFC fighter. It's it's not bad at all. It's okay. Someone told me someone told me I look like a guy who 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 tells people to, to buy houses that they can't afford. And then... <laughs> oh yeah, just... <laughs> like you look like you're gonna, you look like an embezzling real estate agent. Oh no. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, so, you win some, you lose some, and that's boxing. <laughs> that's boxing. Exactly. You're the you're the agent. That's how, that's what you got to tell him. Look, man, like you lose some, it's fine. You just got back up on your back on your feet here. Listen, man, there's an opening in Manitoba. They've never seen you fight out there. Let's head there. Let's practice. I'm, I'm ready. I'm not a big guy. I'd be willing to go for it. If I'm gonna fight anyone, it's got to be you, though. Okay, yo, celebrity boxing match before the before the concert. Let's go. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so would... like trying to play the keys, he like can't see straight. <laughs> I don't even know how good a boxer you are, but I would get crushed because I'm like 130 pounds. Anyways, moving, moving, moving on here. Amazing summer for you guys. Obviously, Waves of Blue and huge success there. Big fan of Summer Rain. But you guys did take a, a, a hiatus, a year hiatus earlier on. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very, it's a very Hollywood move, to be honest. Yeah. You're like, I'm going to just take a break. But... It's good to take a break. It's good to reevaluate, you know, what you're what you're doing. Uh, take a breath, a moment for yourself. And while everything was kind of so uncertain in the world, we just took that time to get together and, and plan out what this next release is, which is while the streams coming out on October 22nd. Yeah. Summer Rain is the third single. It's our third album that we're putting out to the world. And we want to make a, 
we want to make this offering because we've been waiting to breathe as long as they've been waiting to breathe. And as soon as we get the fan, mm. this piece of music, it's, you know, yeah. we're, we'll be on the road to see everybody. So what did you guys get up to in a year off? You guys have any like fun, exp any big experiences that really stand out? Yeah, I mean, th there's so much that happens in, in that time, right? Like it, it's, it's difficult to put that into, into like a few sentences. But I think, you know, one of the biggest things that we were able to do in a time of kind of isolation was work with people way more yeah. uh, when we could, even though it was like digitally on Zoom calls sometimes, there was also people visiting in Toronto, we made it work. Um, so, you know, after we really reevaluated, like, you know, what do we want to do? Okay, we want to make music, we want to put together an album. Who do we want to put together? Like, why are we doing this? We're doing this because you know, we, we want to travel with our music. Going on tour and playing your music is like one of the best things, um, you know, one of the best uh, parts of what we do. Um, so after that, it was like, who do we want to work with? And so we started working with uh, a very talented producer based in Toronto. He's actually from the Yukon. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. And so he, he, he's, uh, he goes by cause, KOZ. And so we started working with him. Through him, we started uh working with songwriters and and I think it really like shaped this this album into something that you know we're able to speak to with, with you about and, and Waves of Blues is, is is getting um the most success that that we've seen from from one of our own records so I think that was a huge thing and and, and now that we've kind of like really harnessed that and 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 cherished those relationships that we've made I think like there's a lot more music coming. There's a lot to uh, to follow up. Um, yeah, I mean, so, so many things, man. But I think a lot of it was like going uh, within ourselves, and then also, you know, really listening to other people and and uh, and and making those connections. Yeah, it's cool. And we're really looking yeah. forward to that new album and and the launch coming up. You guys take some time to relax as well, go skydiving, you know, have some fun. Oh man, skydiving. I don't know if I would ever. I don't know. Have you guys gone skydiving? It's like saying, you know, I, I, you take it back. <laughs> yeah. back. Have you jumped out of a plane? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, super relaxing. I, I mean, I know, I know, and like, we were uh, relaxing 100%. It was, uh, it was a time really where we got to enjoy life and, you know, reconnect to our friends that we hadn't heard from because life goes on for everybody. You know, it's like some people mm. end up getting married, having kids, some people's yeah. careers completely. Some people quit their nine to five job. They like opened up their own business. And so, you know, yeah. it, was, it was a time to just uh, get grounded again. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I, I want to talk a little bit about Bahrain. You had mentioned it there for a second. Um, you, I'd watched an interview with, you, interview with you not too long ago that was all about wanting to, to bring some of that music to Bahrain and bring some of your performance there. Have you guys been able to do that much over your yeah, career? Yeah, I mean, we, we did play one show there. We played a live show, which was an amazing experience. I got to show Jordan that side of the world and I got to show people, you know, introduce them to Jordan and, and you know, all, all of our team, uh, our tour team, our management team and everybody. And the next, the next dream is to, yeah, connect the two worlds, which is like all these artists that we've built relationships with, you know, from our label mates on OVO, you know, the party next door, Division, Roy Woods, yeah. uh, everybody on our label pretty much. And then, you know, Drake, Khalid, people we've collaborated with, you know, become friends with like a Sway Lee, just yeah. bringing everybody over to that side and, 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 you know, putting something together for them. Because when you're from a remote location, I, I, I'm sure you can understand, not a lot of artists go through there. And, and when, when you have these experiences, these musical showcases or whatever, there's a real energy there. And I think once people feel that, it's, it's undeniable. Mm -hmm. I think that's really all it is, is just bringing those feelings to yeah. um, across that, the world. That's yeah. so so cool. And Jordan, what's it like visiting Bahrain? Like from your perspective, because obviously uh, for Majid is going home, but for you, yeah. what's that, that experience like? It honestly, it, it feels like a second home, man. Like when, when, when we played a show, it was like the love that I felt, the people that I've met. Um, it, 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 I'm, I was speechless because, you know, it, it took us a, a pretty long time to, to even play a show back there. It took us like, you know, several years 
to get to that point of really constructing something that we can go um, back to to Bahrain and 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 play a show. Um, and yeah, like like what Maj is saying, like all these um, all these people that we met on the way. Um, that's really that's it's almost like the life wealth of it, right? It's just like making these connections and 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 really like genuinely connecting with people to make music is is something that I just have always thought is like a very magical thing. You know, it's like oh, we you, don't do take, it, you, know? you don't you don't take anything from the from the earth, right? You're just kind of like giving back and and you're making those connections. So um, yeah, I think there's there, 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 there's a lot more to come. Um, and I think that is really the backbone of like why we do what we do. And so even speaking with you and, and hearing Waves of Blue on the radio is like, our focus isn't necessarily there. And it's, it's still, in, it, it, even, it, it hits even more because the focus isn't there. It's just kind of like we're reaping the benefits of just something that that people are, are really sharing our music and, and love our music. Yeah, and your support, like... Your yeah. support and, and your means, acceptance, everything. really yeah. your support and your acceptance of this music and your willingness to share it and yeah. spread it is that's you, really important. It's gonna make another it's gonna make another Bahrain yeah. show possible, you know. It's gonna make it's gonna make all these things come to life in an amazing yeah. way. And so from here to there, everyone's gonna be, you know, listening to the same music. It's a beautiful thing. It's yeah. it's crazy to think of how big and how many people there are that you can connect with in the world. And, it's well now that there's like momentum that we're rebuilding with this new project uh we can't wait to see what the future holds and our you know our wildest dreams that come cool up. well you know what we're, we're again looking forward to that new album i gotta let you go here but wish you all the best with a big release and we'll look forward to chatting with you on the next project or whenever that's possible we'd nice love to meet you thank you yeah. so much for having thanks us for having us man nice to meet you guys nice to meet you take care